it's Hoa. I'm back again. I have something really important to talk about. It's a subject we rarely discuss because it can make us feel uncomfortable. Sexual harassment at the workplace. Some of you already know what that means. You may have even experienced it. You might be wondering, how do I know about this subject? Well, it's happened to me. First, I avoided the issue and didn't know who to ask for help. I felt ashamed, but there's nothing to be ashamed about and it's up to all of us to prevent it. So, what is sexual harassment at the workplace? How can we recognise it and how does it affect our lives? Sexual harassment includes both physical contact and verbal and non-verbal acts. It can be as simple as an inappropriate suggestion, comment, gesture, or even a text message that's sexual in tone, or as serious as a sexual assault. Some of us don't know we are being victimized and feel powerless to stop it. A Vietnamese proverb says, being a flower is to be picked up, being a woman is to be cheated on by men. When this could lead to bad behavior by men, women can find themselves victim of sexual harassment, and that's not funny at all. It is also unacceptable behavior which is prohibited by law. It means factories have to take measures to prevent harassment, which they usually do through a written policy. Companies that buy our clothes often have rules against harassment too, designed to ensure factories protect workers. But many victims of sexual harassment don't know who to turn to if they have been abused, Often, they remain silent or feel too afraid to report an incident. I also felt ashamed and worried I'd lose my job if I reported a problem. The problems didn't go away and soon I was so depressed I didn't want to go to work. But eventually I decided I didn't want to suffer in silence or let others face the same experience. I first confronted the person harassing me and let him know what he was doing was upsetting me. When it didn't stop, I took notes on what happened, where and when. Then I spoke to my supervisor whom I trust and she knew exactly what to do. She went to speak to the human resource manager. Then things really began to change for the better. So if you ever experience sexual harassment in the workplace, don't suffer in silence and make sure you speak to someone who can solve the problem. They will listen and they know how to help you. Do it for yourself and your colleagues.